familia, this week I have several projects. At the same time, I'm doing some segment, segmented turning there. Uh, a friend gives me two or three, you see, old uh, saws from where I intend to have to make some knives to trade the mini forge that we did a couple of weeks ago. But in this video, I'm uh, I'm attempting to approach a little bit to the leather, trying to mix the leather with my wood turning and you know always experimenting and everything. So I'm doing some tools that are needed. I made a, a brass mallet that is for you know for carving. Uh, this is a little I don't know the name of this. It's a it's a helpful piece for make shapes and uh, what we are going to do today is an edge burnisher. The edge burnisher is, is as its name means, is to burnish the edge of the finished pieces or of the leather. Uh, okay, so nothing spe special till that moment, but as you can imagine, can be is used by hand. But in the uh, um, my other utility is that I want to can I want to be able to use it on the drill press. So I insert uh, a piece of rod, a piece of you know a screwdriver that I cut, and then when you use it by hand, it's not comfortable. So I prepare the cut, and we have. A, I love to do this useful things. So it's not difficult. Uh, of course there is many ways to do it but this is the way I did it and I'm gonna share you with you. So let's go to the lathe and see what's going on. Well we are gonna begin marking the centers as always. The second one is for another project don't pay attention to it. So we mount it between centers and of course the most important part is your protection so wear your face your full face mask now we are we have to make a cylinder to begin as always and now i'm marking the dovetail for my for my chuck in both sides and i'm gonna establish the two parts of the edge burnisher that we are building a good moment to practice a little bit with whatever tool you prefer this is an easy project but it's a skill builder so now we are doing the grooves where the edges of the leather are gonna be burnished so beginning with the widest and going decreasing slowly until the thinnest okay now we have the basic shape, we can uh, cut it apart with the saw, it's much better. And we, we are going to drill the hole where our steel rod is going to be. The steel rod is not anything but a screw. I get a screw and cut it. And, yeah cheapest way I found that's it so we are gonna use a drill with the same size a little bit under so it's gonna be tight with this determine the deep uh, how deep is gonna be the hole and now we're gonna use uh, five minutes epoxy this is an easy way too with a little bit of painters tape you can have a surface to mix your epoxy and then you can easily clean everything so a little bit inside the hole sand a little bit the rod so the epoxy is gonna hold better as you see we can clean it very easy and now apply a little bit of pressure with the tail stock and after a couple of minutes I can keep working on it so now it's a matter of final final touches
We're gonna sand it before cut. Carefully sanding inside the grooves as well. Now, the other part, first step of course, is clean the face to drill the hole. And try if everything is working. Here we go, a little bit more. Okay, that's it. Now it fits. So now I'm going to finish the piece to to, to have a perfect match, so I'm using another life center to, to use as support. And when the final shape is achieved, it's a, a matter of sanding. And now I'm, I have to, to sand the, the very tip of the piece, which can be, can be done just holding the piece by the rod, which is a little bit more center than you can see here, but it doesn't matter actually. It's no big difference. So now it's just a matter of part. It get it apart. Okay, the little knob, sand a little bit, and I'm gonna apply just uh, boiled linseed oil. I don't want any anything in here that can then later, uh, I mean, transfer to the leather. So it's just a little bit of boiled linseed oil, and that's it. Here you have some steels. It's a useful tool, I already use it and it works perfectly. As always, any comments, any doubts, just leave the comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you like it, just thumbs up. And if anybody of you can and want to help the channel, there's the, the Patreon button just over there. Thank you very much and see you next week.